Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG. I'm back with a brand new video and today we're going to be getting stuck into the ranking of 2023 cars. Now, I did this before last year, I believe it was, but now obviously with the new DLC, we've got well, basically four new cars, even though the AMG is an old car, but it has been redone. So we basically have some new entrants to see where they stack up in this list of which cars are currently at the top and which cars are dominating compared to which cars are just useless to um to the game at the moment so without any further ado let's get stuck into the video guys right kicking off the mclaren 720 now i don't really drive the mclaren like that and to be honest i don't <coughs> i don't see much people i don't see much people driving it at the moment i think i've seen did i see luke whitehead in it the other day um and it, it seemed kind of you know it seemed kind of mid you know it didn't really seem like it was the car that it used to be so i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna stick it in com competitive and i think it's maybe even lucky to be there maybe it might even be down in average i don't know um yeah it was one of them cars where the, I'm, i remember it used to have a very good bop for like a year or so the, the mclaren was insane but you know last in the last year or so it hasn't really been that car anymore and especially after the new update doesn't really seem to be doing anything special so um i'm gonna leave it in competitive for now maybe i might switch it around by the end um lexus the lexus did get updated um what was it thursday um with the ground collision tweaks um i'm just gonna go and stick that in average man i just i just don't envisage the lexus really doing anything you know especially if it not actually being in the gt world championship anymore i don't think it's going to get any preferential treatment to be honest um the four ferrari 488 now i decided to leave some of the older cars still in because i mean i guess they can still be used right they can still be okay but i you know with the, with the 296 being around now i you know it's another car that's probably going to be surplus to requirements you're not going to see many people in the 488 especially as the 296 is just way easier to drive um but i would still probably put this at above a lexus man and maybe even still above a mclaren i don't know maybe i still think it's probably better than a mclaren but i don't know i don't know i i would i would actually say the 488 is probably still a better car than the mclaren at the moment um the honda which took a nasty nerf a nasty nerf once the dlc came out hmm honda nsx evo damn where are we putting this is it is it top tier viable is it just down in competitive now hmm this is a tough one guys remember i'm actually going to leave the i'm actually going to leave the link um for you guys to do your own one and get at me in the comment section for, for all the cars and stuff you thought i put in the incorrect position but um is the honda still top tier viable it's been before the dlc it definitely was the, the fastest car um around monza and sro it was terrible i think all the hondas like seven hondas all in a row qualified from 40th place down to like 47th or whatever it was terrible but that is just one track um i'm yet to really see the full extent of the nerf i'm yet to see the full extent of the nerf and how many tracks it applies to so I'm gonna reluctantly stick it in top tier viable for now i could be wrong it could have taken a complete nasty nerf everywhere and if that's the case then sheesh sad um bentley my old favorite my old favorite the bentley um a good endurance car doesn't quite have the pace over one lap but it's very fun to drive when you get the setup right i'm gonna stick it in competitive right there um yeah i think that will do that will do the audi now i think the audi's actually the audi's looking decent um since the update even though i tried the audi at valencia and i didn't like it at all 
I, it felt terrible to me but i've seen other guys doing decent times in it um again in sro around monza the audi was pretty strong um and it does have its good tracks you know nurburgring kyle stuff like that whoops as i dropped my mouse damn yeah um so i think it i think it's top tier viable man i think the audi is a top tier viable car at the moment maybe even more so than the honda i think so it's definitely top tier viable um again it's another car that i like my only query with the audi has always been tire wear you know it's always been what the tire wear is going to do what the tire wear is like and stuff like that that's my only query with the with the audi but um other than that people been showing that the audi's got pace man it's definitely got pace moving on to the amg which is an old car but which is also a new car because it did get a insane buff and pretty much everything changed with the car and it looks like it is one of those cars that is up there we've seen morris learner jump on acc and be absolutely rapid in this thing um so i'm gonna pull it in the elite section the amg is now an elite car sheesh um even though it took a nasty nasty uh, nerf at monza i still think the amg from what i've been seeing is one of the cars that are going to be towards the front um of the pack um what i will say is it may not be the easiest car to set up but if you do know how to set it up then you're probably going to be pretty decent okay let's move on to the audi eve audi the lamborghini evo not the evo 2 the original evo and this is i'm not gonna lie man I, i've never really liked the first evo bro i feel like it just it kind of took everything that was good about the original lambo and just took it away and then it just had nothing you know it just wasn't great at anything so i'm going to stick it in the competitive maybe i'm not sure about the mclaren bop right now um but i'll stick it in the competitive only because i feel like it, it was it's a little bit harder in the race right it was a little bit harder in the race to um to get the pace out for a full stint um right moving on bmw i'm going to stick this in top tier viable because it is a very good car very stable platform um maybe missing that ultimate pace that ultimate one lap pace or whatever but i believe in races it's, it's a very strong car because of how stable it is um yeah it's decent again though i feel like you you're gonna need to know how to set it up because um you know you can't really run the toe trick and stuff like that you can't really do too much in terms of manipulating the game in terms of setup with the with the bmw so you kind of have to nail the setup to get it to compete but i believe it's a fast car i believe it's pretty good over a stint as well um maybe lacks that ultimate one lap pace is the only thing i would say um moving on to the aston the car that i've been using for quite a while and again i think the aston is another car that is top tier viable obviously it has its weaknesses and the main weakness is that it just doesn't get off the line literally it gets off the line like a tortoise so that's the biggest you know the, the biggest flaw with the car is stable easy to drive um got great tc um i haven't used it too much since the update though so you know it remains to be seen but i do think out of all the old cars it is one of the cars that doesn't seem to have lost too much pace some of the older cars i say older but cars that are not the new 2023 cars some of them feel like they've just lost a little bit of edge you know they lost a bit of speed compared to the new cars i feel like the the aston's kind of hanging on it's kind of doing all right it's not doing too bad and um, in fact i'll put it in front of the honda right now because i do believe the honda that honda nerf was insane um it's a pity we didn't get to see many bmws in the sro race so we could have got a you know we didn't get to see the, the top sort of bmw drivers um in the car to see where where they would have stacked up is the bmw better than the aston right now though um 
is the BMW better than the Aston? I think about all the circuits. It's crazy because a lot of the circuits, the BMW and the Aston, they both tend to be good at the same sort of circuits. Um, sheesh. What is a better car, the BMW or the Aston? Damn, that is a close one. Um, I'm going to give it to the BMW just because just because it gets off the line better <laughs> and i feel like um it, it it probably probably slightly outdoes the aston ever so slightly so i'm gonna leave it like that um yeah i'm gonna take that i'm gonna take that the porsche 991 which has been a very good car over the last few years. How competitive is it now? Now that we have the uh, 992. Um, I know at Laguna Seca it was rapid, but again, that's something that did get patched just on Thursday. So we're doing this with, with unknown knowledge of where these cars have fallen to, but I'm going off of what I've seen over the last few weeks. And I have to say it is still still a top tier viable car is it in front of the audi hmm don't know but definitely doesn't have the straight line speed of the audi it's magnificent around corners and stuff like that but probably still holds that tricky technique to 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 get it to be fast you know and i feel like the new porsche doesn't really have that it's a lot more user friendly so um i'm gonna stick it just behind the audi for now um Ferrari 296, we already know. Get in there. Get up there. Um, I, I believe it got buffed. And then it got, I think it took a slight nerf again. But I still believe it's going to be one of the cars at the forefront. Um, very, very easy to drive. Extremely easy to drive. It's fast. And that's always a, a, a very good combination for a car that is right at the front. Um, my favorite car right now is a Lamborghini Evo 2. You guys already know I love Lamborghinis, bro. It's the it's the car that I first first started the game with. When I first started playing this game, I was driving a 2015 Lambo, and that was my car. And I mixed that with with the Bentley pretty much. Um, but yeah, Lamborghini. Now, from what I've heard, the Lamborghini took a lovely little buff. A lovely little buff. Uh, maybe all my complaining was worth it <laughs> but i think it's now a top tier viable car for sure it's up there it's up there and what i do like i think it's extremely close man i think it's extremely close between the cars that's what i like we could have three or four cars right at the top beautiful um porsche 992 again another one elite it's up there um, can definitely fight for wins with that car. Um, now, last car left is the Nissan. And I'm not, I wouldn't even say the Nissan's been juice. It's probably just not that easy to set up, but it's got speed around certain tracks. So um, it's close. I mean, I wouldn't want to drive it. <laughs> like, I don't want to drive it. But is it bin juice? I don't quite think it is absolute bin juice pointless like if there's a nissan it's gonna be dead last it's not like a like a jaguar so i'm gonna say it's, it's average um over the course of all the tracks the lexus will probably be a bit quicker but i would say it's average now let's sort out the order let's get the order spot on and um this is gonna be quite difficult just because we had another update on thursday so we don't quite know exactly the order um, right now, right, right now, the Porsche might be the strongest car, actually. Um, maybe the Porsche, maybe even the Lambo ahead of the AMG. And I think, hmm. I think that this may, this, this, this might be how it looks at the moment. The problem is I believe that some of these cars are better in races than others. I feel like the Lambos are a pretty good race car. Um, 
decent on tires. The Ferrari is pretty good on tires as well. I'm not sure that the Porsche is as good on tires. So raw speed versus uh, endurance is always the argument. Um, I would prefer endurance. Raw speed's great, but if your car fades after 25 minutes, it doesn't mean much. Unless you're doing an hour race that is split by a pit stop, and then you're good, you're cool. Um, to be honest, the row below is even harder. That's an even harder row. Because the Audi is showing potential of getting into that elite. And to be honest, I think the Audi should be an elite in, in the real world. Um, I'm not quite sure if it's in elite at the moment, but I know it does have its tracks where it's very fast. And even at Monza, where it never used to be quick, it was quick. So is the Audi up there? Is the Audi up there? Um, if you want to battle for wins, can you choose the Audi? right now no <laughs> in my opinion maybe a couple of tracks but in general over a course of a season over a course of a calendar can you choose the audi to battle for a championship i don't think you can um is the old porsche still better than the bmw m4 oh that's a tough one that's a toughie but i probably just give it the nod especially the one lap performance unless it has been thoroughly nerfed and in that case then this means nothing what i'm saying um i've got the no nah, i've got the the honda in front of the ferrari but we know the honda got nerfed pretty severely right um is the Honda still better than the Bentley? Again, the Bentley is another car that's more endurance based. Definitely better in longer races. Um, is the Honda still top tier viable? I generally don't know how badly this car got nerfed. Um, is the Bentley faster than the McLaren? That is a very good question. See, the thing is, over one lap, a lot of these cars are close, but over a race is where I feel the main difference is. Um, hmm. I don't know. I, I kind, I kind of feel like this is, this is, this might be okay, mate. This might just be the list. This might be the list, man. Agree or disagree, or agree to disagree. Um, I don't. I generally don't think any cars are just bin juice, right? Um, that would mean like a car that's just second off the pace everywhere. It's not got a single good track. It's not got a track where it's got anything going for it. That to me is a car that is utterly bin juice, man. Um, but we do know some of these cars got nerfed, so I'm not sure how bad though. So I would, for me, it's between the Porsche and the 296 at the top. Um, I think the Lambo is close. I think the Lambo is close now. I think the AMG is close, but I, I put the AMG last because I think it's a harder car to set up than the rest. Uh, I didn't even have trouble setting up the Porsche or the Ferrari or the Lambo really, but AMG always is a little bit more tricky to get the best out of um yeah guys i think that's it i think that's it i like i like my list i like the list um hopefully you guys like this too if you don't as i said i'm going to leave the link in the description of the video you guys can try it for yourselves post it in the discord see what you come up with or leave in the comment section down below um your tier list if you like and uh yeah should be a good one anyway guys cryptic tng like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace